Hey guys. So I wanna go back to the kind of serious on presentation theory. You know, myself and Don have been sitting recording videos for a new business leader speak. And there was one of the things we were doing and it's a technique I use a lot, but it's kind of goes counter to one of the myths that people are forever telling you about presentation delivery and slides. And I thought I wanted to jump straight on camera and tell you the story because I wanna end this myth now. And the myth is this, don't read your slides. Every single person will tell you, don't read your slides. Don't read your slides. And I wanna call bullshit on that right now. If you've got words on your slides, you stop and you read them. So let's say I change the slide now and I'm talking about this presentation and I say there's something that's clever and lazy and then I change over to a kind of quote that we have on the screen and I carry on talking to you and there's these, this text behind me but I don't want to read it because that's bad presentation practice. So I'll kind of talk about the vague idea of it and leave you guys to read it. No, that's a terrible idea. Let me show you this and you tell me if this is, is bad to you. So let's say I said to you, well let's look at this, somebody who's lazy and clever. What did he have to say about that? Well, let's look. He said, anyone who is both clever and lazy is qualified for the highest leadership duties because he possesses the intellectual clarity and the composure necessary for difficult decisions. Now, when you walk away from the screen there, you read it with your audience. When you step away from your audience at that point, they have to come with you. Why? Because I just spat. I don't even want that there. <laughs> well, anyway, come here later if you're hungry. Too much? I don't know. Anyway, if you once you look back, there's nothing left for them to do. They can't stare at the slide, they'd get bored stiff. So they'd have to come back to you and listen to you. So when I change a slide and bring on text, if there is text that needs to be read, don't avoid it. If I wanted to tell the story about what this great man said, then that like to continue this in the next slide, I'll simply do it. So to say, he went on to say the following. He said this, he said, those who are clever but lazy tend to question existing processes and look for ways to streamline their work rather than simply getting it done. But when I come back to you, you come back to me. Don't be scared of your slides. I don't want you to stand there and deliver an entire presentation with your back to the audience. And I certainly don't want you waiting to see um, what comes next. Um, ah, Le Lech Walsia, and he had, um, Yes, he said a great quote. It was, we don't want that. But don't avoid words on slides. Good words on a slide are great. When people are forever coming up to me and saying to me, oh, I'm so much better at presenting now. I just use pictures. No, that's not great. You're, it's like we're throwing the baby out with the bathwater. If you can use a picture to introduce a concept, use that. But if words will do better, the words are beautiful. Right? Words are amazing. Engage with them, use them, share them, and use them well. But if you're putting something on a screen, for goodness sake, do your audience the courtesy of not giving them a dilemma. Read it with them. Right? Read it with them and then come back there. So that's the point. And I want you to be brave enough to try that next time you're doing a presentation. Stand up. If you find good content, don't make terrible bullet point written slides, a slide that's a document. I mean, I'm hoping that if you're watching these videos, you know better than that. And at the very least, if you are putting them up, you know you're doing a bad thing. Right? Our brains can't process that information that way. But if you are wanting to use text to illustrate a point, use it, but use it boldly. That's it, an easy lesson. Be brave and try it. Peace. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks again for watching the Get Rich Quick Show. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button right here. And if you really, really, really like this video, hit that subscribe button right here. Check you next week. Peace.